Hello. Uh, I'd like to talk about a uh, phylogenetic tree today. Uh, it's something like uh, a tree that uh, people study in evolutional biology that you have different species that just, uh, I guess, I just have a tree, draw a tree like this. Let's say this, this is like a, a phylogenetic tree then maybe like this have different species here. Maybe like I just arbitrarily make up something like maybe maybe this is human, modern human, like Homo sap sapien. Uh, and uh, there's a, I don't know something. This is say something like uh, Homo something. I don't know. And uh, and this this basically uh, we have the leaf nodes of the tree is like the existing species and. Uh, the underlying nodes that we cannot basically the long leaf nodes are basically uh, the species that ha uh, has already been uh, extinct. So the goal here is like we we have some oscillation of the relationship of different species, maybe few full genetics, like for for the genomes, and then we try to figure out like what's the uh, tree is supposed to look like okay by the way this is the I'm not sure I can remember how to pull on uh, spell it no genetic I guess something like that no genetic tree um so I, I guess I, I will spend a uh, couple session on this uh, this topic uh, basically I'm following a, a rather tough old paper but I, I guess it's a seminal paper by Professor Peter Bundman. Uh, hopefully I pronounce his name correctly. I cannot find any one anyone pronounce his name like on the internet so I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. So uh, but um it is it's a work like he done he has done he he did that like in the nineteen seventies and uh, when he was in Edinburgh so basically, it's like he, um, as the title said here, is trying to figure out the trees based on some measure of this uh, dissimilarity or like uh, the distance of different species. Basically, this this similarities, it's like that, and uh, basically he he invented a very uh, kind of interesting way to uh, kind of describe a tree. Uh, and uh, I guess uh, I, I will go through that and uh, because I want to go for pity um, pity uh, in detail in the for the entire paper I, I think like uh, uh, to me it's a rather dense paper that's uh, uh, quite quite a lot of lemma I will go through the major proof for that and I will fill in some of the proof gaps um, and uh, hopefully like for someone that who who study like this or like um, on the phylogenetic tree will find this helpful. So I, let me just give the um, basic con concept of this uh, Bullman tree here. Um, so I, I'm, I don't think this is the exact name how they call it but uh, basically uh, he construct a Ah, uh, from the paper, let's see. How does he call the tree? He, he actually didn't give a real name for that, but as I said, like, um, he used a rather, uh, uh, to me, it's an obscure way to construct that. So basically, what he does is, like, uh, for to construct a Boonman tree here, uh, we first con uh, consider base set here, like S. This is like a set of, like, a set. So, um, um, and it make it like water abstract, like we don't care like what this set is supposed to look like for the moment. And then like, uh, and in the set here, uh, we will define some of this, uh, he calls spin here, is actually just a partition of the set. Uh, and, uh, not spin, I'm sorry, a split. A partition of the set, uh, into two fashion here, two fraction here. Um, and uh, 
So for example, like if I have the set, it's like, uh, let's say this is a set of like one, two, three, four, let's say. And then maybe I have like one, two, three, four here. So I can have a split like this, where I split like this is one, one subset with like just one, another subset with like two, three, four. And uh, a split here, uh, here we will use sigma, like for here, like I'll just follow the notation in the paper. We use sigma to denote a split. And uh, the split will con split will contain like, it's like two subsets here. So, and uh, it's basically will, will contain basically uh, S, let's say I call it split one here, have like two subsets like S1, one and s one two let's say and uh and uh of course like this s one one and s one two they should not have any common element here and um, also like it should cover the entire set here so the union of them will be just equal to the original set so now <laughs> basically a node in this Boolean tree is pretty, uh, to me, it's pretty obscure. A node will contain, um, oh, actually, I'm even jumping ahead. Like, I need to say more about this bit. Oh, but maybe it's okay, I can define those first. So, the node will be like, I have a number of these splits here. It's like just not one split. For example, like I have this, as is this, uh, why do I have it here? As the space set here have elements one, two, three, four, so I I have split like one, two, like this way, and or, or I can have split like like this. So this is another split like this is sigma one, this is sigma two here, and I, I may have more splits like maybe I have like one more split. I guess I can erase it here now. I have one more split like one, two, three, and four, another one. So I have like this three splits, splits here, and um, a node. So this split here, uh, this uh, okay. By the way, uh, for this split here, it contains like two elements here. Right? I can have S one one, and S one two here, and uh, and similar two have two element here, basically two of these subsets. S uh two one and S two two uh two yeah S two two yeah and this uh, and this uh sigma three can have S three one and S uh three two. Now a node will be like I'm out of all this each of this split here. I'll see that one of the subset will be a load. A combination of them will be a node. So therefore, like, uh, I will have a node, for example, like, S11 one, one, and uh, S21 and S31 is a node. So this is a node. It's a tree node. Um, and uh, now, we, we say that we have split here. I can have like different combination of split. But one thing is that like, um, I cannot include all possible splits. For example, like I also have split like, um, let's see. Oh, actually in this case, I think it's kind of, oh yeah. I, I, I can only have like split like this way. Right? One, two, three, four. I can have split like this, right? Maybe I call this sigma four, right? Uh, this part is say like S41 and this part is S42, let's say. Now, but uh, in a tree, I cannot uh, include all possible splits here. We can only call, uh, include splits that they are compatible. So um, we say a split is compatible if they they contain one of the subset uh, does not intersect with each other. 
So for example, like sigma one and sigma two are compatible because I, I can, from sigma one I can pick this subset here, this S one one here, and I can pick this subset here, S two two here, and they do not intersect with each other. So therefore, sigma one and sigma two are compatible. On the other hand, like this one, sigma two and sigma four is not compatible because I no no matter which subset I pick from sigma two and sigma four they all always intersect with each other. For example, uh, if I pick this one and this one, then I will have a common element of one there, so therefore they are not compatible. So basically, um, we, we should just select all the compatible for to building a tree here. Uh, we should pick all the, um, include uh, the compatible uh, splits and then for each of node, as I said, we will construct the node as a um, selecting from each of the split a subset uh, from the split, and then I will construct a node. So as I said, like this, same S1, S2, uh, S, S1, S2, 1, and S3, 1 is a node. Uh, and by the way, I also miss a, okay, ba basically I have this compatible, maybe I write down the condition here, compatible um, sigma one, uh, or yeah, compatible sigma one and sigma two are compatible. If and only if S11 intersects S21, uh, could find or S21 So basically we need to have one of them to have no intersection This is the S12 and S22. Oh, by the way, this is the empty set. Uh, this is the notation for empty set. The empty set. So one of them should be uh, should be equal to zero. So and or also like for a node, uh, I miss out a little bit uh, caveat here. Uh, a node is valid. A valid node only if as um if um as i maybe i write this as i j i so this just this is a denoting the i if, um uh the the subset from the i split here and uh, let's say the subset from the case bit there. Uh, so if I did node, if like for only only when I for any i and k here. So basically, j k and j i is like if I pick the uh, for the i split. Sorry, yeah, for the i split here, I pick the ji subset here. ji basically can either be 1 or 0. Uh, sorry, 1 or 2. And also jk like this. So, um, for when you know we need to, for each of these pair, they has to be non-empty. So the pairwise intersection has to be non-empty. So, for example, like this one here, we just have this S11, S21, S3 one here. It's a valid node because I, I have this intersect with this guy. I have one is the common element here, and also like for S two one, and S three one here, one two are the common elements. So I have um, basically this is a valid node. So on the other hand, I, uh, for example, the uh, node like. Uh, uh, S11. So actually, by the way, I guess it's better for me to indicate like what I mean by it. So let's say this is the S11 here, 
and this is the S21 here, this is the SV1 here. So, and then this, the other one, this is SV2 here, and so on. So, for example, like, um, now let me let me just give an example of lot of valid node. So um for example S11 one one and uh S22 two two and S P1 this won't be valid because I this part and this part does not intersect. S11 one one and S22 two two does not intersect. So this is not a valid node. So it is only include a valid node here. So um, I'm actually you, you can see that like in this example, if I have split like to create split in this way, maybe I can uh, erase some of this stuff here. So know that like as I said like when we include splits like they has to be all compatible way. Right? So therefore like when you pick one split here. You kind of like uh, constrain like what the other choices of the uh, the choices of our other splits there. So uh, for example, like uh, as I said, like this one uh, is a set of valid split, and this actually will form a, a tree, in the sense, um, basically, uh, this is all the all the valid. Uh, okay, yeah, this this is like the. Uh, I'll give another, another example, but let, let's look at this example here. Then, uh, then we just said like this is a valid node here, S11, S21, MS3, let's write down this node here. S3, one is a valid node. And then I, I also have another valid node, let's say. This one will be valid, right? let's say S12, uh, S21, MS3, one will be a valid node, right? And uh, let's see what else. Uh, yeah, this I have S one, two S two two, and S three one. Is also a valid node, right? So, and then I I also have S one two, S two two, S three two. Is also valid node. And uh, now, uh, now we have all the nodes here. Now we need to talk about edges. So we talk about nodes. Uh, you know, talk about what are the edges in the tree there. So basically, the edges will be just um, if I have two nodes here, if they only differ by only one subset there. So for example, like for this this node and this node. It's only differ from for this subset say S11 and S12 here, they are connected by the edge. And uh, from convenience, we will say that like they are connected by the edge and uh, we can uh, um, indicate the edge by just that corresponding split there, that basically sigma 1 here. So we say I have an edge sigma 1 for these two nodes here. And similarly, these two nodes here are connecting with each other because I, they only differ with like uh, these two subsets here. So and is connected by sigma two, and this one is connecting with each other again. It is connected by sigma three. So basically, I have path three here. I have a path here for this like for this set of splits. So um, I guess I. Let me give one more example. I actually, actually, yeah. Let me give one more example and uh, just uh, maybe in the next video, I will, I will prove that this is actually a tree, uh, because I just from here it's not obvious that like this is always will construct a tree, right? But um, but we we will be able to prove that this this always give us a tree. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. So let me give one more example first. So let's say I I also have the uh, element again. I one two three four here. But let me write it this way: one two three four. Now I I will I will just draw a different split here. Uh, and uh, 
instead of like uh, drawing the subsets for both uh, S11 for example like, for a simple one here they have like S11 and S12 right? uh, instead of like showing both of the subsets here I'm just show one of the subset because um, the other subset uh, you can know that just by basically like will be just the rest of the elements will form the other subset way right? so uh, let's say I can have a uh, sigma 1 let's say this is sigma 1 here so let's say sigma 1 I did indicate with what and I have uh, the second split sigma 2 I make it yellow here let's say this is sigma 2 oh wait that's it uh, no this this is not a good one so let's say this is sigma 2 here and then I let's say I have this is sigma 3 and then let's say I have this as sigma 4 right. so it's a different different partition here as you can see like the, I have different kind of partition as before uh, and uh, you can also see that like they are all compatible with each other because for example if I, I pick any of two of them they always have like some of the uh, any two of the splits here, they always have some of the subsets that do not intersect with each other. Uh, for example, if I pick sigma, uh, let me back to using black here, sigma 3 and sigma 4. So I have um, 3 here is basically S4, 2, right? So because it's S4, 1, 1, 2, 4, S4, 1, so S is S4, 2. Apparently, this doesn't intersect with like this two here. Two, two is by itself is like as, uh, three, two way. So this two intersection, this basically is just two. This is just equal to three. This intersection will be equal to zero. Oh, sorry, empty set. So therefore, like this, is basically a, uh, two. These two splits here. Are compatible with each other um, and uh, and okay now, now let's construct the tree here so I have this also like apparently this is a compatible compatible node because they kind of uh, intersect um, the they pairwise each of the subsets they they have a long empty uh, they have a pairwise long empty intersection I imagine you can see that that uh, apparently, they, they if they intersect all of them together is is uh, have a uh, long empty uh, element here. Also, like is when I intersect all four of them, this time will be just equal to one here. And um, and actually, by the way, this is known as the support uh, for a node. Uh, S one I one S two I two let's say S K I K let's say support of the node of that node here is equal to S one I one intersect with S two I two intersect with everything S K I K so um yeah we, we, we uh yeah we, we probably won't use it now for the moment at least not in this example um but actually one remark i'm not going to show now is that like uh the uh latent node or the nodes like the non leaf nodes uh will have a uh, seal support basically have uh, empty support um and uh for the leaf nodes they will have a non non finite support, a uh, non empty support. So um, and uh, yeah, we we are not going to show. Maybe I will show it next time. But I, I don't know, or may, maybe not. It is not very important because uh, about uh, for the discussion afterward. So uh, let's see, and. Uh, Let's like construct the entire tree here. I have like one, two, three, four here. Let's see. I can also have 
Uh, this is a value node here, so I have only the simple one. I just warp this is instead of picking S11, I'll pick S12. Uh, then this one is a value node because I again I this one oh shoot. This one here, uh, yeah, this one here only differ by the first node here by similar one. So actually, this the edge here is similar one. And by the way, like as I said, like uh, the support for this guy, the support here, is actually equal to the empty set. And we can't expect this will be an edge node. So, yeah, one thing here, I have this guy here. Uh, intercept like the white, yellow one, the green one, and the red one will get this, and the intercept the blue one will get empty set here. So let's also look at another node, like one, two, three, four. Uh, this time maybe I will um, change sigma four instead. So I will pick the complement of like, or like I will pick S4, two. The complement of S41 and uh, the rest I will just stay with the same. I mean, rest of the speed I will stay with the same. Again, this is a valid node because I, uh, they pairwise uh, each of the subset um, have non zero, non empty pairwise intersection. And the edge here is uh, basically this blue one. And maybe I use sigma four. Use the blue color. This is sigma four here. And again, like this support here, you see the support here is actually equal to three, and uh, it's not empty. And this is I really can't expect this. It's a need node. It shouldn't connect with something else. And um, also, like I also maybe I draw it here. I can change. I can change the sigma two. Let's say I can change sigma two. So in that, I pick sigma two here, and uh, okay. Again, like this is a a final node, like and uh, because they have a non-empty pairwise intersection, and also like. The support is non-empty, so therefore it will be a leaf node, as we expect. So and also like this, the edge here is actually similar two here. So finally, there's one more edge here actually. Uh, I have maybe connected here here one two three four. I can have sigma three. Swap to the other one, other element of sigma three, and uh, and uh, the edge here is sigma three basically. So this 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 is a basically we have a tree here again, uh, a different tree, and. Uh, Basically, based on different kind or uh, different set of splits, you will have different tree. So okay, I guess I will stop here. Next time I will I will try to show that like why this give me a tree.